Hey friends, Annalie here. I know some of you know me as the Bucket List Vagabond, and today I'll be sharing with you the exact packing method I use in order to travel on a budget and save those extra baggage fees. Many times when we're traveling, we don't consider bag fees into our budget, and it can be really expensive. Sometimes the price of an entire flight. I have been through a plethora of items and packing methods and YouTube videos and different ways to pack and I feel like I have nailed down the most effective way. Through the use of packing cubes, base savers, there are so many different avenues that you can take whether you fold or you roll your clothes. So I'm here to show you a way that you can combine them all together and pack one carry-on and save all of that money. It has become a goal of mine to not only save you space but to save you money and help you check off your bucket list in the most budget-friendly and unique way possible. Let's get started. Hey, I also want to add that this is for temperature neutral travel. So maybe let's just pretend that we're traveling for a week and it is hot during the day, but it's cold at night. So I'll be packing both jackets, light sweaters, and things that you can wear in the summer. All right, I am just taking this thing off the tripod because y'all need to see all the things I'm packing. So right now I have five pairs of pants. I've got five shirts and a jacket over there. A dress, jammies, or how many five? That's five um, little tank top shirts, four pairs of socks, seven pairs of underwear, a bra, and then a pair of shoes in the middle. So that's what we're gonna be packing today. Now that you have all your clothes laid out and planned out, you need to prepare your packing cubes. So I am a national park freak, and so of course I had to get national park packing cubes. If you want these exact ones that I'm using, I'll link them in the description below, and then I'll also provide a few other options that you can use. Okay, y'all, I'm just gonna go ahead and start out with my Arches National Park packing cube, and I'm gonna be putting all of the big items in there. So, my pants, really. Let's pack them up. I also love that these specific packing cubes allow you to um, expand them, so if they're is a little bit of snug room, it'll allow you to expand it. So perfect for pants. Before we get started, I also do wanna mention that every time I travel and I'm only using a carry-on or a personal item, like for Frontier or Spirit flights, I always, always, always use space savers. And they're basically little Ziploc bags and you can use a vacuum and suck all the air out. It creates so much room and allows for you to fit so much more in your bag. However, for this video, I am in dire need of some new space saver bags, so I won't be using those today, but I highly, highly recommend that you pick some up from Amazon, your local Walmart, you can get them kind of everywhere. I like the smaller ones because they can get pretty hefty for like packing up store for storage, but definitely recommend those. Another little packing tip is that when you're working out, like I have workout clothes, but I always bring my smallest clothes. So I have two pairs of spandex. I have another pair of those runner shorts because when you fold them up, they basically fit like one pair of leggings would fit. So maximize your space, use small clothes, and then I'll show you what I do for my tops in a second. Okay, as you can see here, my bag is full of all my pants, but there's still a lot of room in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all my underwear and my socks in this same bag and I will have one packing cube done. Okay, as you can see here, my packing cube is full and I didn't even need the extender, like the expandable part. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip that back up and save even more space. All right, friends, so I have my Arches pant bag. All my pants, all my socks, all my underwear fit in this little tiny packing cube and I actually still have a little bit of room to go, but we're gonna move on for the purposes of the video and let's go ahead and get started on tops. One thing I do wanna say about your tops is that, again, wear things that you can kind of capsule wardrobe um, out. So for example, let me grab them all. These, these are little crop tops that I absolutely love. They're from Albion Fit and not only can you wear them under like, a jacket or something as a t-shirt you can also wear them to work out in they've got a built-in bra they're actually made for working out but I double it up sometimes I'll wear these with some joggers or some leggings and it's kind of you know the perfect runaround 
outfit and it saves you tons of space when you're packing. They come in all different kinds of colors, shapes, so I highly recommend you get these. Alright, sorry y'all, I had to take off my jacket, I got way too hot from packing and all this fun. So, let me show you what I did. So far I've got my pants bag, and then I also have my shirts. This is my shirts, this includes my jammies, and this is all of my pants, socks, underwear, all in two bags. This will easily fit in a little personal item, but let's keep going because I still have more. Also, I want to say that a lot of people put emphasis on rolling your clothes or folding them. If you're not using a space saver, rolling your shirts and your pants will save you space. However, if you're using a space saver, the flatter you can get your clothes, the easier that air can come out, and I believe that it actually creates more space if you lay it all flat. So, just my opinion, what I've seen and what I've learned. Basically, if you're using a space saver vacuum seal bag, flatten, like fold them. If you're not, roll them up and put them in a packing cube like this. Okay friends, so far I have my arches bag with all my pants, I've got my Yosemite bag with all of my shirts, and then I have this bag with all my jackets and my dress. Now I still do have my toiletries and all my makeup that I need to pack. I plan on putting it in the Yellowstone bag, it's about the same size as the Grand Canyon bag. So I'm going to fit all of that in there, I'll show you some things that I love putting in there, and then let's get to putting it into our carry-on. Alright y'all, I will do a quick little zoom through of all the things that I put in my toiletry bag, but one thing I do want to like extra highlight that has been a game changer is my little razor, y'all. Look how cute this little Venus razor is, it's the whole package. When you open it up, this is the little handle, and then it actually comes with razors so if you need a new travel razor this is it I'm gonna put the link in the description below but you have to get this if it's perfect in your bag and you just need it Alright friends, so we have all of our packing cubes, this is everything that I will be bringing, I don't know if you can see me, but everything I'll be bringing with me, um, as you can see here, there's two left over, I bring this one for dirty clothes to keep it separate, and then this I'll bring just extra in case I need it, um, I also have my shoes that I'll be bringing, again, that capsule wardrobe, y'all, you can match these with the dresses, you can match these with any of the shirts that I packed, so it is color neutral and works with everything and it's a must. So let's go ahead, we'll put all these in our carry-on and see if we can pack even lighter. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to share the suitcase that I'm using. It's called Rome and it's great because it has 360 wheels, it has a lock on the outside, definitely one of my favorite suitcases. It's a hard shell and it's expandable. This one is called the Jet Setter. So again, I will link this below if you are interested, but let's go ahead and get packing. Inside, they have these extra little space um, compartmentalizers, and I love them because it kind of helps compact everything and get everything smushed down. But let's just go ahead and pack it up. So I've got all my pants, all my tops. I always try to leave space over here for the pair of shoes that I'm bringing, which in this case, will be these. Perfect. They fit. If they didn't, I would put them over there. And then, as you can see, with everything in there, y'all, look at all this extra room. Whether you choose to bring back souvenirs or you have camera gear or something, I mean, this is plenty of packing space for a week-long trip wherever you're going. Now, I believe that I can actually fit this into a personal item, which would qualify for spirit or those frontier flights that you actually have to pay for carry-ons. 
So in that case, this wouldn't work. We would have to downgrade even more. So let's go ahead and see if that fits. Alrighty, friends. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the bag that I use. I know you can't see my face, but this is also made by Rome. This is another one of their backpacks. What's cool about them is you can choose any color, like the color of the zipper, the color of the front, the back, so your suitcase and your backpack match. What's cool about this one is all of the options for packing. I mean, it's huge on the inside. It has spaces for um, little knickknacks, like maybe snacks or earbuds for the plane. Back here is a space for your computer. You also have another space for your computer back here. Over here is another little separate zipper for your phone or maybe something like your wallet that you need to grab. You've got two really deep side pockets here. Then you also have this front zipper and then this other big one down here. And you would be surprised how much room is actually down here. Like, it blew my mind. There's so much space and it expands so wide. Like, let's see if we can get all that stuff in here. Okay, first things first, we're gonna put our heavy objects towards the bottom. So that's gonna be my pants, the arches back. I'm just gonna lay it flat towards the very bottom. I'll zip this up so it's not as confusing. And then next is the Yosemite back. So these are all my shirts, my socks, panties, all that. Bras, again, laying it flat. Still, you can see this carry-on or this personal item is not even full at all. Next, I've got my jacket and my dress that are in the Grand Canyons bag. And then to top it all off, I have all of my makeup and my toiletries that I'll be carrying with me for a week. If I was packing only those things, you can see, yes, it does fit in my little personal item. So this would save me money on paying for another carry-on bag with all flights, and this can actually count as your bag for the week. So perfectly compact and everything. Now I do have shoes that I need to add. I also have this blanket, which I have fallen in love with. It's a Blue Hills blanket. If you get stuck in the airport or you just need something to keep you warm, really easy to carry along with you. And then I also have a neck pillow for the plane and I have some electronics. So let's see if that fits. I'll go ahead and put my shoes in. Okay, I'm gonna put my extra bags in that um, I have for laundry and then just extra, you know, whatever you might need. Kinda getting snug there. And then because I love to travel and I have a drone and I have my camera, I always bring this plug-in that has multiple USBs. Sometimes when you go into an Airbnb hotel, they may only have one, and so you can't charge all of your electronics. So I'll go ahead and put this in the front. And then let's try and see if we can fit this in. Again, that compartment in the front is so big. I think it'll fit. And it does, yeah. All right, y'all. There you have it. If you want to book a week-long trip using only a personal item, not even a carry-on, it is definitely possible. Okay, I'm gonna show you what it looks like on me just so you can see, like, relative to size. This is everything that was in that carry-on bag. And it's right there in my little, like, personal item. There it is. And it's all considered a personal item, so I don't even have to pay for extra bags. I can still take that amazing discount of a flight with Spirit or Frontier without having to worry if my bag is too big. And I'm able to travel with ease and on a budget. All right, y'all, there you have it. I've got my entire week-long bag full of stuff, including five pairs of pants, five shirts, so many different things that you would never imagine to fit in a little carry-on or a personal item. But as you can see here, it can be done. And I think even more could fit for like a two, three week trip if I were to use those packing savers I was talking about. So I hope this helps you plan your next trip on a budget. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Also y'all, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I wanna make sure I can continue making videos like this so that you can check off your bucket list 
in the most budget-friendly way possible. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.